My role with the uh, 155 Borden Gray GC Squadron is I assist with uh, public affairs uh, as a public affairs unit representative. I'm also working the training uh, part of the program as well here locally. Today we have the uh, change command of the 155 Borden Gray GC Air Cadet Squadron and uh, that is uh, with uh, Captain James Brown who has been serving as the commanding officer for four years. He is uh, transferring command to the incoming uh, Captain Ken Floyd who will uh, assume the command once the uh, paperwork is completed and normally that's for a three-year duration. The nice opportunity for this is the cadets after the, this uh, change of command can go in and uh, listen to Dr. Bondar's multimedia presentation and that wouldn't have been possible if we had held this at the armories where we traditionally would do it and um, they can uh, sit in, listen to uh, Dr. Bondar and her accomplishments and goals that she set out to do and, and met them as being the first Canadian Canadian female astronaut in space and uh, the cadets also have learned about her though in the cadet training program throughout the year. We're very fortunate uh, in, in many ways because of the partnership that we have at the Bush Plain, um, the, the people that we have coming out to offer instruction on the, in the program that are subject matter experts in the various areas. Some of them are veterans that they did that trade in, in the military and now they can pass it on to the cadets, whether it's electronics or structures or aircraft maintenance. And, and it give, gives them the opportunity to pass that on too. And some of the cadets, uh, maybe they they're, have a, an idea of maybe a goal or a career that may take them in that direction, whether it's a pilot or maybe it's working on aircraft. And that could even be a job here locally in Sault Ste. Marie. So they would stay and hopefully uh, enjoy the community as, as we're fortunate enough to do right now.